I'm going to cut a magnificent bryozoan, or Pectinatella magnifica, in half. This is the magnificent bryozoan. I brought it to the lab, cut it in half, then carefully shaved off a thin layer on the surface. And when we looked at it under the microscope, we discovered something incredible. Vicious Originally, we were looking for freshwater jellyfish. But we found something even more fascinating. This magnificent bryozoan. So we decided to examine this creature first. When we put the camera underwater, ta-da! This strange looking creature is the magnificent bryozoan. Even when lifted out of the water, it still looks very unique, doesn't it? It was growing attached to a rope like this. It was so large, it was about to sink. But my friend managed to scoop it up with a net just in time. We moved it to the water's edge and picked it up by hand. It's huge, isn't it? This specimen was far too big to bring back to the lab. So we decided to observe it right on the spot. Looking closely at its surface, you can see faint patterns or markings embedded on it. When we split it open, the inside looked like this, but it smelled awful. It gave off a really strong, rotten odor. Inside, you can see some green and reddish parts, but those aren't part of the bryozoan itself. They're substances that stuck to it from the rope. The interior is made entirely of jelly-like material. It's quite a strange creature, don't you think? To show you its secrets more clearly, I cut off a medium-sized piece and rushed it back to the lab. Ta-da! First, I looked at the magnificent bryozoan carefully. Something seemed to be drifting around it. Here too. And here as well. So I sucked some of it up with a dropper, transferred it into a dish, and looked at it under a microscope. To my surprise, I saw small round things swimming in the water. Looking closely, you can even see tentacle-like structures inside. Amazing, right? These are actually the larvae of the magnificent bryozoan. They swim around the main body for a while, then attach themselves to the surface and grow into new colonies. That's why magnificent bryozoans are often found in clusters in the same area. So, what exactly is this creature? Over some years of running this channel, I've shown you many different groups of living organisms, but never this one. The magnificent bryozoan belongs to the phylum bryozoa, also known as moss animals. They are called that because they look a bit like moss. Each colony is made up of countless tiny individuals called zoids, which live together as one community. Those dark spots you saw on the surface? Each one is a zoid of Pectinatella magnifica. Each zoid is only about one millimeter long, but they reproduce asexually, and the jelly-like substance they secrete grows and expands, until the whole colony can reach over one meter in size. Incredible, right? Although these bryozoans appear motionless, they are actually quite active. If you look at them underwater, you might notice something sticking out slightly. Since it's hard to see with the naked eye, let's take a closer look under the microscope. Because the sample is too thick, we'll cut off a thin layer and observe it. When cut in half, you can see that the inside is all gelatinous. The zoids of the magnificent bryozoan are located only on the surface layer. So we carefully sliced off the outer layer and observed it under the microscope. You can see these distinctive patterns, right? Zooming in further, you'll begin to see tentacle-like structures. Looking closely, they're moving! All of these are the individual zoids of the magnificent bryozoan. When we add water and zoom in again, can you see it? Each zoid extends fine tentacles to catch and feed on plankton and organic matter in the water. That's why these bryozoans are often found in still, nutrient-rich waters like reservoirs. Fascinating, isn't it? Finally, when winter comes, these colonies die and disappear. 
However, Pectinatella magnifica survives the cold by producing small survival capsules called statoblasts. As the statoblast matures, it develops tiny hook-like structures that let it cling to aquatic plants or rocks. It endures harsh conditions such as winter or drought, and when the environment becomes favorable again, it germinates and resumes life. There are truly so many mysterious creatures on Earth. We'll continue showing you many more strange and fascinating forms of life. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This has been Fishy Science, exploring the mysteries of the world through science.